What's going on, everybody? Yep. You're wondering, what is that contraption? Today, we're going to talk about a homemade smoke test for your car. I got a 2001 Town & Country. And it's got several codes going on. Got an EVAP code, if anybody familiar with that. So what I did was made my own smoke machine. Smoke machine. And it's crudely constructed, but I'm going to tell you how I did it. This right here is a jar from Family Dollar. Three dollars. Okay. Came with his own wick inside it, as you can see that. And it had its own hole inside it. Okay. But I didn't need that hole. I went and bought this tubing from a little box store for a buck 99, it was 10 feet of it. And I took my drill, and drilled me a couple of holes in it. You know, one for intake, one for outtake. All right, because what we want to do is we, you want to, the whole concept is you want to shoot smoke into your engine so you can see where it's leaking. All right, because air, you know, because it's air and, and the only way to see it is with the smoke. All right, so first thing I tried was, you know, flammable liquid on the wick uh, that came with it. That didn't really work out too well, okay? Uh, kept going out, not enough smoke. So then I got to thinking, man, what smokes? What smokes? Cardboard. Cardboard smokes, man. If you haven't built a fire fireplace, cardboard. So I took a bunch of cardboard, jammed it down in there, as you can see. Jammed a bunch of cardboard down in there. All right, and you see my drill. That's what I drilled the holes in. I drilled one right here, drilled one right here. Then I cut the holes in half, put one. I got one going into the back of the engine and one going to my compressor. Now, this was the tricky part because I didn't want to cut my holes for my compressor and I wanted to be able to control it. So, you know, so if anybody got a compressor, um basically you got that escape you got the your, your empty valve you know so i i got that turned off and then basically i just you know what i'm saying i rigged it up man i just took the gorilla tape taped the little holes on to it you know so you know can you know you know if you ever did anything like that man so and voila so we got a little bit of smoke maybe left in there so let me let me turn it on and see what it do. Maybe got a little bit. Yeah, we got a little smoke. I don't know if you can see that on the thing. But I got a little smoke coming out. And yeah, baby. I don't know if you can see that. But I got a couple of components down here. Right here and right here. Both smoke. You know, so that's, that's what I needed. That's what I needed. Because I didn't want to go through changing this changing that changing this changing that you know running back and forth to the shop you know this is my second time going through a mission so you got to say this last four years i've been dealing with this engine light so but like i said you can do a little you know your own little smoke machine basic tools i mean this was what under 10 bucks man this is under 10 bucks smoke machine easy peasy you know this was three dollars this tube was $1.99 cardboard I had sitting in the back of the van already on my compressor. If you don't own a compressor, you just need some kind of air source. You can, um, if you don't own a compressor, you can easily use your, you know, little air pump compressor, but you just got to have an old tire so you can cut off the stem, jam it in there and tape it. But for sure, man, I'm, I'm looking at these parts, you know, I can see, the, see where it's leaking at. It's all good. We know what we got to change. It's all good, baby. And there's factory parts on here anyway. I could have probably just went through and just changed everything out. But it's better to know so I'm not spending extra money. So basic good review. Uh, basic smoke machine under $10. Hope you enjoyed this video. Easy peasy. All right.